I just quickly want to share with you guys some things that have been on my heart that I feel led to share with you. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to share a little announcement with you about what's going on with me over the next week or so. But I just wanted to get on here and share with you guys. I, I'm sure some of you have noticed it, but I sense this spiritual tension that seems to be swirling. There's so much going on in our world right now with Israel, with these hurricanes. There's a second hurricane now they're predicting that's going to come through Florida. And with this upcoming presidential election, with the assassination attempts, any one of these situations are enough to get people on edge and anxious and nervous and, and even fearful. But now we have so many of them happening all at once. And with less than a month away from the election, and it just seems like I explained it to somebody earlier, like there's this drum roll right now. It's just like what's going to happen on all of these different fronts. And the only way I know how to explain it is a tension. It seems like there's almost a tangible tension in the air. But I want to remind you guys, I wanted to make this video and remind you of what I said to you after the Donald Trump assassination attempt. And that's not to get distracted. This right now is a time for intercession, especially this month leading up to the election. Election. This is the time to intercede and pray. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes in His Word. Things are going to happen. The Bible warns us that things are going to happen. We're going to see and we're going to experience different kinds of suffering in the world. Jesus said in John chapter 16, I've said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And remember, like I shared in the last video, when we go through these hard times, the Lord said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. We know Paul was shipwrecked. He was beaten, imprisoned. He was always going through it. And Paul learned that it was in these times of weaknesses, that's when he was strong because that's when the power of Christ rested upon him. So for everyone who's going through and in some of these situations right now, there is a supernatural portion of grace on their life. The Lord is with them. And in the meantime, those of us that are not in the middle of it. We can't be all bent out of the frame with this stuff. We've got to be careful about allowing ourselves to walk in anxiety and fear. I want to remind you of what Romans 8, 6 says, for to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Life and peace. This is what the children of God are supposed to do. It's in these times when everything that's swirling in the world is bad. All of the bad news, all of the negative news, when everything seems to come crashing down, this is the time that we're called to be salt and light. This is our moment to shine. This is when the world sees what do those Christians have that we don't have. I want what they have. We're called to a life of life and peace by walking in the Spirit. Jesus was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fire. He's not outside of the fire waiting, saying, come out here, I'll be here when you're done. No, he's with us in the middle of everything that we go through. He's with those victims. He's with the people and the families that are dealing and reeling from loss right now. He's with them right in the middle of it. But the church, the body of Christ, is called to walk in the Spirit, in life and peace. Jesus says, this is how the world will know that you are my disciples, that you love one another. And we cannot do that effectively when we're all tore out of the frame, when we're all bent out of shape. But we have to stay focused. We have to stay vigilant. Remember that word I shared with you. Stay vigilant. Stay focused. Stay in prayer because Jesus is still on the throne. He is sovereign and he knows what's going on. And the enemy would love to distract us by keeping our eyes on the news, by keeping our eyes on social media, by filling our minds with things that cause worry and fear and anxiety. 
We can stay informed, that's okay, but we don't need to meditate on it. We don't need to dwell on it. We don't need to look at it first thing when we arise and last thing before we go to bed. We should be speaking to the Lord, spending time with Him, filling your mind with His Word. Worship, put on some music. I love what Jim said in my last video. Don't stop worshiping just because we don't understand, but we're called to be salt and light. And this is the time when the body of Christ can be the hands and feet of Jesus. We need to be helpful. We need to be available. We need to be there to be able to support people however that is, whether it's financially or whether you can actually physically go and get involved somewhere or whatever it may be. And I'm specifically speaking about some of the support and relief efforts for the hurricane Helene victims, which segues me into the announcement that I would like to make, and that is that I'm not going to be making any more videos this week. I'm not sure when this one will come out, but some of you, by the time you watch it, I will already be gone, but I'm headed west. I live on the eastern part of the state of North Carolina. I'm going to be heading west with a small team from my church, and we're going to go help with some of the relief efforts out there over the next week. And I'm sharing this with you guys because I would love for you to pray not only for me, but pray for the team of guys that's going and pray for everybody involved, not only the victims and their families, but also all of the people who are gathering to help because there are accidents that happen. There are some people that are getting hurt in the process, and we just want to pray the hand of the Lord be over all this, His protection be over everybody involved, and that He would supernaturally just use His people and stir His people in this hour to provide everything that is needed and that the world would see through all of this the love and the grace of Jesus Christ and that there is a God. He is on the throne and that we exude that love. So that's where I'm going to be over the next week. I wanted to fill you in and let you know. So hopefully we'll get some videos out next week, but please guys be in prayer. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your support for the channel. Uh, if you're not able to go get involved, give. There's a lot of organizations and churches out there raising money and I would really encourage you to do that if you're able. Otherwise, please just spend time in prayer. Well, thank you so much for being here and watching this video today, y'all. And if you want to join us on Patreon, you can do that. We've been doing weekly Bible studies, but uh, I'll leave that link below in the description so you can check that out if you want to come over there. And we've been going through the book of First John. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you and ask you to hit the thumbs up button. That's the like button. And that tells YouTube to share this important message with more people. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.